Hey, this is Presh Tawakar. Find the sum of the following series. 1 over the quantity 1 times 2, plus 1 over the quantity 2 times 3, plus 1 over the quantity 3 times 4, plus etc. going on to infinity. This problem was asked as part of the Cambridge exam for students seeking a Bachelor of Arts in 1802. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. To solve this infinite series, we're going to consider a specific term of the series, which has the form 1 over the quantity n times n plus 1. One way that we can simplify this term is that we can decompose it into simple fractions. We can do this using the method of partial fractions. Specifically, we want to make this term equal to the sum of two fractions. It'll be some fraction a over n plus another fraction b over n plus 1. And it'll be easier to evaluate this infinite series if we look at fractions which only have one term in the denominator. So to solve this equation, we're going to multiply both sides by n times n plus 1. We end up with the equation that 1 is equal to a times the quantity n plus 1 plus b times n. Now we expand the right-hand side and group like terms. We can see from this equation that we need the constant term of a to be equal to 1, and we need the coefficient of n, which is a plus b, to be equal to 0. So we have a system of equations where a is equal to 1, and a plus b is equal to 0. We can solve this very easily, that a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 1. So we figured out how to decompose our general term into simple fractions as follows. We have that 1 over the quantity n times n plus 1 is equal to 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. So how is this going to help us solve our infinite series? Well, let's take a look at the sum of our series up to k terms. From this partial sum, let's take a look at just the very first term of this sum. We have 1 over the quantity 1 times 2. Well, let's apply our formula to decompose this into two simple fractions. So the very first term will be equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. We can now apply the formula to the second term. This will be equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. When we apply it to the third term, we're going to have 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Now we can continue applying this formula to the rest of the terms in this series. So now we can see a very magical cancellation happens. Here we have negative 1 half and then positive 1 half those terms will cancel out. We then have negative one-third and a positive one-third. Those terms will cancel out. This pattern continues. We have negative one-fourth and plus one-fourth, and that'll also continue. And we go all the way where all of these middle terms keep canceling out. Now, if you consider a retracting telescope, the pattern that we have in the series is very familiar to the shape of a retracting telescope. We can expand it out all the way, but we can also contract it where we only have the very beginning and the very end surviving. So just like that, our series is like an expanded telescope, and now we've canceled out all these terms in the middle, and we've retracted it back to the smaller form. For this reason, this type of series is known as a telescoping series. So now we have a very simple form of the sum up to the k terms of this infinite series. We can then calculate the sum of the infinite series by letting k go to infinity. Now 1 over k plus 1 will go to 0, and therefore our infinite series will have a sum that's exactly equal to 1. So that's the answer to this problem. Now, I know some of you might say this is a little bit too easy, but this exam was actually pretty hard. For anyone who thinks this problem was too easy, you're welcome to try the very next question on the exam. If half of the Earth were taken off by the impulse of a comet, 
what change would be produced in the moon's orbit? I don't know the answer, and I could not quickly figure out the answer from doing a few internet searches. So if you know the answer to this question, please share your knowledge in the comments. Did you figure out the original problem? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Prashell Walker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.